Hello there, Obi-Wan Jacoby here, back with another video. I know it's been a very long time, a few weeks since my last video. Things got really, really busy at work. But today we are taking a look at the art of Star Wars Rebels and we'll do an overview on it. I have spoken. Hello there. <laughs> Work has been crazy lately, so thank you so much for my fan base, and thank you so much for all of your guys' support as we're all going through these tough times. Anyways, so we're taking a look today at the art of Star Wars Rebels. This has been a long time coming. I had this on pre-order last year, and this is a special edition art book. I went ahead and took the shrink wrap off so it can be easier. The timing of this is great. We just had the Star Wars Clone Wars finale, which was awesome so great those last four episodes were some of the best star wars i've seen in a long time if you guys haven't checked that out go ahead and check it out on disney plus this is actually a sequel series to star wars the clone wars this is star wars rebels which happens alongside the original trilogy as well as rogue one it follows a cast of characters mainly hera syndulla sabine who is a Mandalorian, a Jedi who survived the Purge, Kanan, and he takes on an apprentice, Ezra Bridger. All in all, that series started off kind of shaky, but it ended up actually being really, really, really great. Towards the end, also some of the best Star Wars I've seen in a very long time. So Dave Filoni knows his Star Wars with Clone Wars and Rebels. I highly, highly encourage you guys watch it. It really makes the live action films that much more enjoyable to watch. Anyways, I've spoken enough. We are taking a look at the special edition art book from Star Wars Rebels. We have here the big box version, very, very simple design. And this is actually cut out into the box, these two lightsaber blades all the way through. This is one of the Inquisitor's lightsaber, and this is Ezra Bridger's lightsaber. And very, very simple design with all the stars. This kind of reminds me of the Skywalker Saga box set, the 4K edition that's available at Best Buy. And this is kind of like a matte finish, rubbery feel to it. And here is the retail price, which is $100. I did not get this for $100. This is available on Amazon. When I pre-ordered it, it was actually $80 and then I just got a refund of $40. So it was around $40 on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. I think it's still available. Now in the back, when you take the shrink wrap off, it comes with this piece of paper where it shows you the contents inside. This is made by Dark Horse Books and Lucas Films. And it's a limited edition package. The limited edition includes the clamshell slip case with magnetic closure, illuminating lightsabers, with Ignition SFX. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Two prints of sketches from Dave Filoni's personal sketchbook and an exclusive cover. All right, well, we will take a look at that together. Put this aside for now. Let's see what's up with this. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. And it, and it shuts off, that's awesome, okay. Wow. All right, let's do that again. Super cool. All right, hats off to that. That's actually really, really cool. Take a look at the inside here. Oh, cool. Here is, it looks like a, like a little lever that pops up like a spring mechanism to actually turn on the sabers once you open the box. So that's actually really ingenious. That's a, I didn't know that this happened at all. So yeah, I was just surprised at you guys. So we'll slip this out. And here we have the art book with the exclusive cover as well as, I'm assuming the sketches from Dave Filoni's personal collection. We'll check that out in a second. So this is the exclusive cover for the special edition. If you just want the art book without all of these fancy boxes, 
it's a different cover and it's uh, much cheaper on Amazon. I think it's around 20 bucks on Amazon and it's a hardcover as well. But yeah, so this is the main cast of characters that they follow throughout Star Wars Rebels. So this is Sabine, Ezra, Hera, Kanan, Zeb, as well as Chopper. Let's look at the sides. And here's a look at the back. This is the Lothal cat. It's a nice touch. So we'll take a quick overlook and overview of the art in here. Now, with these books, what you wanna do is stretch out the spine. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, so as to not break the spine within. So I do that a couple times before I dive in. Otherwise you can really, really mess the spine up of all of these uh, art books or omnibus, graphic novels. And what you wanna see usually with good sewn binding or glue binding is this hole, this eye hole here, right? So you wanna see right through it and that means you've stretched out the spine pretty well and nothing's gonna actually break through here. All right, let's take a quick look. So here we have the art of Star Wars, the Dark Horse comics. This is what's inside. Oh, cool, they separated. It looks like they did an early development, season one, two, three, and four. That's pretty neat. You can see some concept art. Harrison Dula is actually one of my favorite uh, expanding universe characters, and I love how they included her as an Easter egg in Star Wars Rogue One. And they just included her as a general Syndulla call. And Kanan, actually I wasn't a fan of him in the beginning, but he grew on me. A lot, a lot of character growth with all of these characters, which is why I highly encourage watching the expanded universe shows and books, reading all the books, yeah. So these are all a bunch of different characters. C-3PO, Chewbacca. I think that's Chewbacca. It says Wookiee, but. So I, I don't wanna spoil all of the art, so I'm just gonna kind of skim through. Highlight main areas where the show is. Actually, you know, I guess we'll say it's a spoiler alert. Um, if you haven't seen the show, definitely, uh, and you don't want to get spoiled, I wouldn't want to see any of these uh, artworks. Oh, Ahsoka, those are the Ahsoka blades. So the white blades that she has. Again, spoiler alert, Ahsoka does appear in Rebels. who is Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. That's a really, really cool shot of Vader. That's cool, so this is Rex. Cham Syndulla, which is Hera's father. The art is really, really nice. A B-Wing, my favorite Star Wars ship. One of my favorite Star Wars ships. Fate of the Alliance, oh, that's the Bendu. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out the show. We have fan favorite Thrawn, Grand Admiral Thrawn. season four. Again, spoiler alert. If 
you haven't seen it. Actually, this is a really, really cool scene in the show. I won't spoil this for you guys, but really great episode. You can see Ahsoka here. And the Ewing. I think I saw, yeah. Nice colored version of the front cover here. Now let's check this out. I'm assuming this is one of from the sketchbook of Dave Filoni. We'll open this. Oh, wow. Very, very, very awesome. Darth Maul and Ezra. This looks like the Sith temple that they were in. And then Ahsoka versus Darth Vader. That was a great scene in the show. Oh, this is really cool. I'm not sure if this is a standard piece for every um, version of this or if there's different versions. Maybe someone can comment below if they have this. Cool. And this looks like it's printed on. This is not an actual piece. So it's just uh, made to look like coming from his personal collection. Alright, and that's a quick overview on the special edition, The Art of Star Wars Rebels, it is available on Amazon.com. That's where I got it. It's around $40, and I think it's a really, really nice addition to the Star Wars collection. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. For those of you who stuck with me, thank you so much for your support, always. It's really, really awesome to feel that from all of you guys. I hope everyone is staying safe. Stay tuned for future giveaways that I'll be doing. Actually, I'll start in this video. I will leave a picture at the end of this video, if you guys made it this far, on digital codes of some of the Star Wars movies that I already own. So I just wanted to give back to the community. So I'll post it in pictures and it's a first come first serve basis. Anyone who made it this far will get some free Star Wars movies. And this is the 4K version of the films. And these are duplicates that I already had, so I just wanted to give it back to you guys. Anyways, guys, please stay tuned for more upcoming videos on my Star Wars collection, as well as video games, movies, anime, and graphic novels, and more. As always, this is the way I have spoken, and may the Force be with you always.